So where we're going now is the only official battlefield site in the whole of Nottinghamshire. The Battle of East Stoke. That's where we're going, I hope. I'll make sure we get there. Um, fought between the last rising of the Yorkist against Emily the Seventh, who'd been on the throne for two years. So this was like a rebellion against the king, led by the last surviving heir of the Plantagenet line, the Yorks, the Yorkists basically. Um, fought here in June the 16th, 14. 87. I think we get off here. Yeah. yeah, we do. There you go, mate. There it is. Fork East Stoke, Elston. So just approaching into East Stoke because. Uh... Oh, so here we are. We, we actually found this by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Image of the only intact skull showing the wound above the ear. Christ, look at that. They must have had, did they? Oh, it's there, isn't it? Sorry. Wow, look at that. That must have been some. That was probably what they used to call a bill. A horrible weapon. You know, for chopping, for stabbing, cleaving. So here we are at the River Trent, which was a barrier for the soldiers trying to flee the battlefield of East Stoke. Effectively they were bottled up and they had no option but to fight to the end. And that's what they did. Particularly the German and Swiss mercenaries fought to the bitter end. There's a story that says their bottles would riddle with arrows like hedgehogs. 1200 years ago, looking across here and seeing the Vikings in all their splendor coming down on their long ships. And what have we got? Narrow boats. I don't know if you can see this here, but this is the, the battle plan. The Earl of Lincoln's troops were a mass um, made up of a mixture of German and Swiss mercenaries, an Irish clansman, and a few English knights, maybe still trying to get the Yorkists back on the throne. And what you see here is what's been termed the English vanguard. Um, Henry the Seventh is um, with his main troops around the village of East Stoke, and he sends his vanguard in to engage the enemy. Um, it's a battle fought on foot, as it was common in those days. Um, but as I mentioned, the upper hand was really with the English and their longbowmen, whereas maybe the German mercenaries weren't used to that type of battle, being um, specialists in the use of uh, long pikes. Not much good having a long pike if your enemy's shooting hundreds of arrows at you from about a hundred yards. And this drove them back towards, it's not shown here, maybe that's it there, a place that's now infamous and known as the Red Gutter, where in particular the Germans, um, or what was left of the Germans, realised is their exit was, was, but they didn't have an exit because of the River Trent, so they just put up the last ditch battle and, and died to a man. So uh, this is the memorial, quite a modern memorial at St Oswald's Church at um, Stoke. St is it called Stoke's Field? Stoke Field, yeah. Stoke Field. Um, commemorating the dead of the Battle of Stoke Field. 